Let's continue number 11. And what does the discrimination index of 0.67% mean? Actually, my shortcut to answering this. For me, I just remember the table. The table is created by Blood and Bud 1972. They created a formula actually for the discrimination index. And it's simple. Uh, you just For each item, you just subtract the number of students who answered correctly from the number of students in the upper group who answered incorrectly. There's a table here. If the value is greater than 0 0.40, 0 0.40, that means high discrimination, so you retain your question. High discrimination, retain question. If it's 0 0.20 to 0 0.39, moderate discrimination, you cannot dis discriminate much, moderate discrimination. So you check or you revise your question. If it's 0 0.10 or 0 0.19, low discrimination, that means it's not valid. So you remove or you rewrite it. 0, 0.0 negative, so there's no discrimination, so, so you remove. 0 0.67 is greater than uh, greater than 0 0.40. So it's actually average. In the choices, the closest interpretation would be letter D, average. So in this particular question, the answer is letter D.